Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Mirrors. If this is your first time here, hey girl, hey, or welcome. In today's video, I am going to be showing you my everyday essentials, everything that I carry in my purse. So if you're somebody who is looking for inspiration on what you should carry in your purse, or if you're like me, you just love these kind of videos and you're nosy and you like to see what other women are carrying in their purses, then this video is definitely for you. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the purse that I carry for everyday usage, one of those purses would be my Kurt Geiger Kensington bag. I've had this bag for about maybe two years now. I really love this purse. It holds medium. I'll say it, it holds your typical everyday things that you need. I love it because it's super col colorful and girly and I'm just a really girly person. I love the chains on the bag. I love the straps. I love the detail. One thing about Kurt Kiger is they pay really close attention to detail and that's why I really love them. So I do want to go ahead and add that a couple of people have mentioned that the recent videos that I've done, like they seem really heavy, the bags seem really heavy and that is because they are. But those are like my bags when I cannot live without certain things and I just have to have so much stuff in those purses. And then my work bag obviously has a lot of stuff in it too. However. I'm just giving y'all some realistic things, okay? So I wanted to dedicate this video to the ladies that were like, how do you carry that much stuff in your bag? I told y'all that I would be condens condensing everything down into one bag. So that's what I've done for you in this video. So let's go ahead and see what I carry in my purse on an everyday basis. Okay, so straight away, we're gonna open the bag. As you can see, it has these clamps that's how the bag opens and closes and yes it does close with my purse being in there it just takes a little bit of adjusting that can be annoying to a person that's like i don't have time to try to pull and have to take my bag off my shoulder just to clamp it closed so keep that in mind but i'm going to go ahead and open the bag back up this is what it looks like on the inside give you all some details of that so the first thing i have in my bag that i'm going to pull out straight away is my cell phone and i'm sorry if the lighting changed y'all the weather is i don't know it's being bipolar right now but the first thing i have in my purse is my cell phone this is my brand new case i just purchased this case actually from marshall's and it did not come with this i don't know what you call these let me know in the comment section if you know what this is called but basically you can hold your phone like this so you're not having to hold it this way because that can become tiresome i do love this and also i can prop it up like on my desk at work if i'm like you know have some downtime no emails to send out i can just watch a video or two on my phone and you can prop it up different ways as well but i got this case the actual pink case um, from marshall's i think for 6.99 and this is just the front of my phone I have my babies on the front of my phone. That is my daughter back there, Island, and this is Saint. That is Saint. So yeah, so this is my cell phone. I gotta have my cell phone with me in case of emergencies. I might have to use the map. Needs to be able to contact family. You know, you gotta have your cell phone. You, y'all get it. So the next thing I have in my purse is going to be my AirPods. That's something that I have to take with me all the time uh, because I don't like to hold my phone and talk like this. I get tired of doing that. I sure, I'm sure you do too. Or having to shop or you're looking for stuff and you got to do this number right here. It makes your neck hurt, girl. We don't have time. So you got to keep the AirPods on deck. Um, Y'all already know if you've seen my previous videos excuse me i got this video um this case from forever 21 it is linked in the, the description box of my previous video um and it may be linked in the first video but just go check those videos out look in the description box and you should be able to find this case that doesn't have a lot of good reviews online but you get a real review right here and i love this but i will say after a while it does detach but that's okay because it's really pretty so if you like really sparkly things like myself i definitely recommend you go get this i think when i purchased it it was priced at 6.99 but just if you would like this airpod case it's in the, the description box of my other videos for you so yeah i gotta have my airpods because i like to listen to music and all of those good things so the next thing i have in my purse are my car keys i know some people are like um they don't like to carry a lot of stuff on their car keys 
but me I lose my car keys very easily so I have to have stuff on my keys that is noticeable so I got this and it's really dirty actually um I got this from Hobby Lobby maybe like last year sometime but I love the color pink obviously pink is my favorite color so I got this on there I have just my couple of keys important keys obviously car key and then I have like my CVS rewards cards um, y'all know I mentioned this in my previous videos so that CVS is one of my favorite drugstores I get a lot of my beauty products um, skincare products and my purse essentials from CVS pharmacy so I like to get the rewards and you can also use coupons all you got to do is scan this card you just add it to um, your card from the website the next thing I have on here is hand sanitizer. This is my case from Bath & Body Work. I love Bath & Body Work hand sanitizer. It smells really, really good. And it keeps your hands obviously nice and free of germs. Um, I got this case, the um, hand sanitizer case as well from Bath & Body Work. Not sure what the price was, but I got it last year sometime during the holidays. The next thing I have on here is some security. You gotta have some security, y'all. So this is a an alarm. So if you're ever in danger, you would press this red button or either this button. Anyways, I think there is a light on here, a safety light. You press that button and then you have the buttons in case you're in danger. So I got this from Amazon. I will link this in the description box for you if you are interested. No, actually I think I purchased this from the drugstore. But I'm sure I can find a link for it. I will link it in the description box. I recommend all women get this. All women should have some type of, some form of safety, okay? So you can set off an alarm or maybe you're licensed to pew, pew, shoot somebody, you know, or some mace, taser, lace, um, not lace, mace or taser, whatever you have. But I definitely recommend this because the women with children or maybe you have like a health condition or something like that. Maybe you have a cane, different things like that, or you're pregnant. Um, they typically target women like that, you know, predators typically target because they're they're like less likely to get away because they have so much to protect or um, they're just their motor ability is not the best. So I definitely recommend you get something like this. Also take you some karate classes, all of those good things, because I will be taking me some self-defense classes and I'm going to vlog it, too. So if y'all would like to see me take my self-defense classes and y'all want me to share my tips and stuff with y'all, let me know, because I'm going to make sure I do that for y'all. And for myself, of course. So, yeah, those are my car keys. The next thing I have in this purse is going to be my wallet. I love this wallet, y'all. Um, obviously, I'm switching this wallet from every purse that I'm using. But I got this wallet right here from Target. If you would like me to link it, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to link it. This per this wallet was only $10. Um, so, yeah, it just unzips like this. It's a long-form wallet, and I just have all of my important cards and stuff in there. It has two, four, six. Uh, yeah two four six eight eight card slots um two sides that you can put receipts and money and then it has a zipper part you can put coins and then on the it has two little back departments too so you can also put important things in there so you get a lot of um storage and compartmentalization i think that's the word <laughs> you can really put a lot of stuff in this wallet so gotta have my wallet might have to get gas might need to go by the atm I got some gift cards in here, some coupons, okay? Might gotta make a return, got my receipts, driver's license, insurance card, all of the things. The next thing I have in my purse is my chewing gum, some Orbit chewing gum. This always comes in handy. Like if you haven't eaten anything, you feel like you're gonna pass out, a little famished, whatever. If you don't have any water or anything, pop you some chewing gum in your mouth. It has been me one too many times where I have you know, needed to eat, haven't eaten today or haven't eaten in a couple of hours, I could just pop me some chewing gum. It'll give me some hydration and it'll give me a little sugar, you know. So definitely keep you some gum in your purse, especially if you, you know, you're like me, you work in an office or you work somewhere and you eat lunch, whether you ate salmon or chicken wings on your break, one or the other, it doesn't matter. You want to be able to put some gum in your mouth. But if you're interested in knowing about all the hygiene stuff that I actually keep in my purse, like when I'm going to the office or even in like a bigger everyday purse, then check out my other videos. I have so much stuff in there, girl. A lot of hidden gems. The next thing I keep in this purse, and now I'm going on the back side, y'all. The front side is empty. I'm going on the back side now. So the first thing I have in here on the back side is 
my cell phone charger. I take a charger with me every day at work because I have my own cubicle. So I can just plug my phone in. And I do need to invest actually in one of those cases, y'all, that, you know, it has a cir circle. It looks like a tennis racket. I need to invest in one of those cases because I can just charge my phone like that. But I'm, I'm just original. Like, give me the good old charger. I love to have me a charger. I do. I love to be able to just plug it into the wall. Boop, boop got it done so yeah gotta have a charger because my phone needs to always be charged like i said i need to be able to talk to my babies my kids i need to be able to call my man if something goes wrong i need to be able to check on my mother i need to be able to make an emergency call if need be i need to be able to use my navigation if i have to you definitely want to keep your cell phone charged at all times so if you're ever you know getting ready to leave work you got 30 minutes 10 minutes even i've had to charge my phone up for, you know within 10 minutes before leaving just so i make sure you know i do that for safety reasons and all of the things it's just essential to have a charger you need a phone charger in your purse the next thing i have in here is going to be okay so i have this little pocket on the back back here but i'm gonna get to that in a minute the next thing i have down in here is a nail file so i have a nail file y'all know me i wear press on nails i just did my press on nails i just did these right here and the video will be uploaded really soon shortly after this video these are the nails yeah and i'm gonna insert also a b-roll clip of those nails so So definitely if this doesn't make you want to go and subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so that you don't miss out on this tutorial I don't know what you're doing girl because you need to be watching that video but anyways I keep a nail file in my purse because press on nails if you know this when you're washing your hands constantly and different things like that they start to lose their shape do you see how square they are because that's they're fresh I just did them today um, but they can lose their shape from the water so I have to keep a nail file because I shape them out if I'm just looking at my nails and it's like oh uh, -uh like it's not looking good I just file them up real quick and we're good the next thing I have in my purse in the back is to go along with my nail file I have my nail glue I have to keep nail glue because like I said I wear press on nails this is my favorite it's by the brand kiss it is their power flex max speed nail glue love this stuff holy grail it is amazing it's way better than the nail glue that comes inside of the nail pack I promise you go get this it's like $2.99 love it gotta have it in case one of my nails pops off which it never happens but in case it does I have nail glue to the rescue <laughs> the next thing I keep in my purse is going to be my Fenty yes y'all I gotta have a lip product gotta have me a good lippy in my purse gotta have it love this stuff so much this is in hot cherry y'all this is Fenty Beauty heat I'm definitely going to do a review on this so I'm going to speak less about it right now but I am going to apply a little bit more on my lips I'm actually currently wearing it but I'm gonna apply some more look at that consistency girl Mm. Rihanna does not miss with anything with her wardrobe, her vocals. I mean, the skincare. I have the Fenty um, moisturizer and I use that every morning. I love it. It's the best moisturizer I've ever used. Y'all look at that. Love this lip gloss. So yes, it is essential for all ladies to keep a lip gloss in your purse not chapsticks is a lip gloss so if you want something natural something that's gonna plump those lips up then you want this I will give y'all all the details on this product in a, di a different video so if you want me to talk about this product and review it before you I know it's a little pricey before you pay for it comment below and I will review it for you moving on another thing I have back here is a face mask now i do have an amazon haul coming really soon but i did link these in one of my previous videos so if you are interested in pink masks then definitely go check those videos out i'm not going to link it in the description box of this box because it's just repetitive for my subscribers who have already seen those videos however you need to keep a mask because one thing about it if i'm somewhere and somebody is coughing putting my mask on period 
yeah, we're not playing them type of games. The next thing I have in this purse are two hygiene products. So if you are a lady, you should have hygiene products in your purse. So I keep a feminine pad and I keep feminine wipes. Now I love the Honey Pot brand because it's literally really good. Like a lot of gynecologists approve of this. It's very, very sensitive. Um, it's just like a regular wipe, like one of those when you go to the gynecologist and you just have the wipe downstairs and stuff like that. You know, you gotta wipe it a little bit really really good stuff and I keep one of these because you just I mean you just never know you know sometimes your cycle might decide to do something different this month you, you just really never know so you just kind of gotta be on the safe side so definitely be keeping you some feminine products in your bag okay y'all so that is everything I have for today's video again say hey hi hey nene hey nene Thank y'all so much for tuning into today's video. That is all I have in my Kurt Geiger everyday bag. Y'all, this is my must have stuff that I cannot go anywhere without. If you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.